It's Sunday, and that means it's time for another Sunday shout out and mail call episode. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure, and we've got nine packages to open on this Sunday shout out and mail call episode. We actually have seven different senders because two of the senders sent two different packages to any extent. Nine packages is a lot, so we're gonna get this kicked off right away. And in true to form fashion, like we've done several videos in a row, we'll kick it off with Larry Priest and Mobile Coins. Larry writes, Rob, hey bud, sorry no fan mail last week. I got busy setting up live streams and I just plain forgot. I'm just swinging by to jump off George at your retirement center and to wish you the best. I had an idea about having a cup series. We can have a tiny trophy and have a group of us half dollar hunters all compete for the trophy. Most silver gets it and the bragging rights. I think it will keep everybody battling it out to get and keep the trophy. Of course, we would need more people to compete. Tell me what you think. We'll see you on the flip side. Larry the Legend with Mobile Coins. First and foremost, Larry, thanks again for the fan mail, man. Appreciate it. You know I have a retirement center for old GW uh, star notes. So we'll definitely take another star note. I'll put them in a safe spot. As far as the Cup Series, I'd like it. It's just so hard with everyone's agendas to get everyone on the same page to do those kinds of battles. I've tried a couple of times to do some collabs and it's been tough. I like the idea a lot. Hopefully we can get people to do that. You know I'm in for it. I'm always up for a good challenge. Once again, Larry, appreciate it, man. As always, everyone, anyone who sent a package, I'll be sure to include their screen information down below, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, if I have it and if they provide it. That being said, thanks again, Larry. Now let's move on to the two packages from Zachary Klimek. All right, guys, Zach wrote, and he wants everyone to know his subscription channels. For coins, he has Zach's coins. And if you like tractors, Zach Klimek. He writes, hi, Rob. This is Zach, and I am 14. I started coin hunting when I was 13 in July. I started after watching your videos, and I tried it because I just didn't believe it. So I did it, and I got a 1919S and 13 other wheat pennies and did five other boxes to this date, and the pennies are from those boxes. I started nickels two weeks ago and got a 1920 Buffalo, also 1980 proof, and a gold nickel from 04D. Write back with some info and your signature, please. Also, can you send some coins back, adding up to the amount? If you can, I prefer old wheats and old nickels. Don't send them back, keep them. Thanks, I love your videos, and keep them up. I want a YouTube shout out. I hope for 100 subs on both channels by the end of the year. We can help them out, guys. Check out Zach's Coins and Zach Climax for tractors. I keep the coins very safe on their journey. There's a 1959D, which is very nice. I hate them. I always think they are weeds at first glance. And a 1964 Canadian Penny, which is very nice. A cool tone 77D Penny and a 1976 Quarter. Please send back. Thanks again, Rob, from the coolest YouTube channel. I also put a $95 bill. Send weeds in return or send it back. Thanks. So it looks like Zach sent me a couple of goodies here. He sent me a $1995 bill. I already checked. It's not a web note. If it was, I'd let Zach know because it'd be worth a lot. And I wanted to make sure he would know that. There's a 77D. Looks like we got a pretty cool Canadian here. 1964. It's in great shape. Good looking young head. A 59D penny and the Bicentennial Quarter. So yeah, I could definitely send you back some nickels and pennies in return for this. No problem, Zach. On a second note, he sent some more goodies. And I won't read the top because it's the same as the other one. But basically he says, I sent a letter with some good stuff for you. And I sent it on the 27th of October. Now this one is for 11518. I would like a channel shout out and I have some more coins here. Channel info up top. But this time I am sending some more coins, but not as good. Can you send your signature and shout me out? I am right now doing experiments to see how long it takes from Wisconsin to Texas. How many Canadians do you average in a penny box? I'm about 10 per box. Wow. Yeah, I don't get 10 per box. I average about one to two per box. Sometimes I get a few more. My record Canadians or any foreigns is five in a box. So here's some Canadian young heads. Pick out two pennies and keep the nickel and keep this 1950D. I hate them. <laughs> keep two Canadian pennies, the nickel, and then send the rest back with a signature also. So here's a cool Canadian nickel. 1959. 
So I'll go ahead and keep the nickel like he says. And he said to pick a couple of the pennies out. So I'll do that as well. And I'll send whatever one back that I don't need for my collection. Looks like we've got a young head, 1957. A young head, 1961. And a young head, 1953. And then also another 59D. So you guys have seen it. His channel information is up here. Zach's Coins or Zach Climax. I'll go ahead and get a package together for you and I'll send it out to you. And as always, buddy, happy hunting. Next up is a package from Lake House Beach. All right, guys, Lake House Beach sent me a nice little penny here. He said, this one is for you, Rob. Check out this beauty. And guys, check it out. Wow. What a beautiful 1959D penny. Lake House Beach, I appreciate the package. And everyone, check out Lake House Beach growing channel, almost at 500 subs. Next up is Jaden's Toy Reviews. All right, everyone, I'm super stoked about this package. Jaden's Toy Reviews channel had a giveaway. I participated in it, I won it, and look what my winnings were. A 1907 beautiful looking V nickel. Holy cow. Pays to go ahead and subscribe to lots of channels and it pays to enter their giveaways because I won one right now. Awesome. Thank you, Jaden. This is a cool V nickel. It might upgrade to my collection. We'll definitely be checking it out. Once again, thank you, brother, and happy hunting. Next up is Oscar Alcarez, who's from Oscar's Collection. I know that name well because he's always on my channel. And we'll see what he sent me in this box. All right, guys, we've got a monster package from Oscar's collection. Let me just go ahead and start off by reading his first note. Hello, Rob. As always, I really enjoy watching your videos. They are really fun to watch, and I enjoy seeing what you find. In this box, I added some things. I hope you don't have in collection or haven't seen before. Like the last box, the other page has a list of what's inside. Your friend, Oscar Alcaraz, Oscar's collection. So I've tried to get it sorted out, guys. We've got quite a bit. This one says open and read the note. The note was, the peso and copper rounds are for a giveaway. I'll let you decide how to give them away all in one live stream or spread out Oscar. Wow, generous, generous Oscar. He wants me to have some stuff for my live streams. Let me get the Mexican peso out, which is 10% silver, as well as the copper rounds out. These are going to be used in my next live stream. All right, guys, first and foremost... We have a Mexican peso. Check this bad boy out. 1957. Estados Unidos Mexicanos un peso. 1957. That is beautiful. We've got a second one. From 1963. Wow, Oscar. I'm assuming when you wrote the peso and copper rounds. Okay, so both of them. So both for a live stream. Man, I wish I had them for my collection. I'm not kidding, but I am. I'm glad that they're for a live stream. And then check it out, guys. A few Walking Liberty Design copper rounds. One ounce of 999 copper. Beautiful. Holy cow. Oscar. Way to go, brother. Man, if you guys aren't subscribed to Oscar's collection, be sure you do so. Look at the generosity he has given back to the community. Now on to the note for me. The, this list, I left a little note in each envelope, making it a little more fun this way, LOL. And then he lists out what he has in every single one of these numbered envelopes. And he doesn't give much away. Special penny, nickel, another nickel, nickel, some nickels. Something made of copper, more copper, tone coin, press coin, some paper. Man, I'm excited to get in there. Let me start to, Let me start with package one, and we'll get through these. Can't wait to see what's inside. Package number one was a special penny, guys, and look at this. It's a 2000 Cheerios penny, one of the 10 million first minted year 2000 coins. Certificate of Authenticity. This is a certified that the U.S. Mint at its Philadelphia facility, the largest coin manufacturing plant in the world, produced the enclosed coin. Your 2000 dated coin is one of the first 10 million to be produced by the Mint and is packaged by Cheerios as a special memento of the new millennium. Wow. Holy cow. 
Yeah, I remember this in the chairs boxes. You could have got the Sacagawea 2000 uh, coin or the penny. And that is awesome. His note is, I pulled this out of the cereal box myself years ago. I bought a lot of boxes. I have a good amount in my collection. That is a special penny. I do not have that in my collection, Oscar. That is beast. Number two is a nickel. Let's see what it is. He wrote, last package I sent you some nickels I picked up years ago. Here's something more shiny. And guys, check this out. A 2005 S-proof nickel. And it's a buffalo nickel. Unbelievable. This is beautiful. I found a 2005 S-proof, but it was not the buffalo. It was the uh, Ocean and View nickel. Holy cow. Beautiful nickel, Oscar. Wow. Package number three, another nickel. Let's see what this nickel is. Another shiny, LOL. And this one is another 05 S proof nickel. It's beautiful. And it's the ocean in view that we just were talking about. But this one's not in circulated condition. So I will take it. We're on pack number four. And it says nickel. We've got a gold plated V nickel. 1911. Yep, I wonder why they gold plated so many of these V nickels. I think they look really cool and I'm happy to have them. Just wonder why they would do that. Either way, it's a nice addition to the collection. Compliments of Oscar's collection. We're on pack number five and it says some nickels. Well, package five was nickels, but it's not the kind of nickels I thought it was. These are old Canadian nickels. They are made of silver. Not sure on how much silver the percentage is. Let's see, take a look at the years. I believe these are prior to 1920 for sure, or 1920 and older. 1896, 1912, and 1920. So these are all going to be sterling silver. The Canadian nickels up to 1920 were made out of 92.5% sterling silver and then 80% silver after that for a few years. Holy cow, these are beautiful. We even got the old Canadian nickel design that 1896 one right there. And then, of course, the King George uh, V on the other two. Wow. I don't have very many of these older sterling silver Canadian nickels in my collection, Oscar. That's just what the doctor ordered. That is sweet. Now let's move on to package six. And it's something made of copper. Guys, the package keeps getting better and better. Look at this 1837 Canadian half penny. Let me get it out of the package real quick so we can get a better look at it. 1837 half penny. Beautiful, beautiful design. Man. Imagine the hands that this penny has been in over all these years. That's a beautiful coin, Oscar. Thank you very much. Holy cow. And we still got more packages to go. And package seven says... More copper. I am super stoked about this, guys, because I have a zinc planchet that I found in one of my rolls, and I didn't have a copper planchet. Matter of fact, I was on an auction the other day, seeing if they had any of these, and they didn't. I even asked the person conducting the auction if they ever found any to let me know, because I was interested in finding one, and boom, Coin Karma, Oscar sends me one. He writes, I found this copper planchet while I was working for Kmart. I opened the roll, and there it was. I checked the weight, 3.1 gram. Blank copper penny planchet. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> this is so exciting, man. It's like Christmas right now for me. I wish I would have saved this package for Christmas, but we didn't. And we're on number eight, a tone coin. Oscar writes, found this weirdly toned dime. I don't think it's painted, but I could be wrong. Let's take a look at it. That is oddly toned. It's an 87. Love the pinks on here. You know what? You never know. I have ran across a couple of dimes like this. Matter of fact, I did a dime hunt the other day that I didn't post because I didn't find anything besides a couple of these. But uh, man, I'm going to add it with those two. Beautiful looking toned dime. Thanks again, Oscar. Super stoked. We just keep having more fun. Number nine, 
pressed coins. These are pressed coins from a press here in Arizona, Tombstone, Arizona. Nothing else needs to be said about this place. That was number one. So cool. Old Tucson Studios. This has movie history. John Wayne filmed four movies here. The movie Tombstone with Kurt Russell was filmed here too. Tons of other movies and shows were filmed as well. Pretty dang cool. Man. Yep. Put a couple of pennies in. Press the machine. Boom. You gotta like that. Tombstone and Old Tucson. Oscar, thanks for the keepsakes. Those are cool. And now I move on to number 10, which says some paper. Nice year and check out the numbers. Guys, I already checked them out. I don't want to re-pull them back out of here because they're in really crisp condition. But they're 1981 series, $1 bills, and they're consecutive. 62179688, 89, and 90. Really cool. Three consecutive, almost uncirculated, $1 series 1981 notes. You don't find them like that too often. Not in consecutive, not when they're 37 years old. That is really cool, Oscar. Thanks for the paper. Sweet. And he sent me a couple of bonus coins. Check out Oscar's bonus coins. First up is a silver half dollar. And that's not what's awesome about it. Look at the condition of this 1970D. This is a key date for the Kennedy half dollars. They only made them for special mint sets. It was really an NIFC to tell you the truth. And I have a couple of my collection, but this one is ridiculous. Oscar, wow. That is beautiful. And then not to outdo it, 1909, Penny, and look at that condition. Stunning. Oh yeah, it's also a VDB. And look at that detail. Wow. This might be my best 1909 VDB. I have about five or six of these. One's really nice, but I'm not sure it's as nice as this one. Those bonus coins alone, Oscar, are overly generous. You are the man. You support my streams. You get on my channel. You watch my videos. You send me packages for my own personal collection. You sent some stuff for the free giveaways. Oh, and on top of that, take a look at these things he sent. If you don't know what these are, I will release a video on YouTube talking about it. I'll have to see what they are because we got three cool things here. We've got something right here. We've got like another arm bracelet with a compass on it. And then I don't know what exactly this is, but it looks like it has something to tie like a key chain to but it's got like a heavy ball. So I don't know what these are, Oscar. I'll be looking for your video. Guys, I think it goes without saying, we need to subscribe to Oscar's collection. I'll have a link down below. I'm sure we all want to know what these are. Some of you may already know. If you do, leave it in the comments below. But I'm super excited about finding out what those are. I can't believe the bonus coins he sent. I cannot believe the awesome package he sent. And on top of it all, he sent some Mexican pesos and some copper rounds for me to use on my live stream. I said it before and I'll say it again. The coin community is so generous and awesome. We all take care of each other. But Oscar, this is above and beyond what I've ever thought I'd ever get in a package. I cannot believe the amount of goodies you sent me and the community and some surprises as well. Oscar, I know I've said it five or six times, but man, thank you so much. What a generous package. You guys, please sub to his channel. All right, next up. We've got a dual package from Angel Quinones. Let's see what's inside those. All right, guys, we've got a really big couple of packages from Angel Quinones. He writes, time, time, dear Rob. Hey, Rob, how you doing? My name is Angel. First and foremost, I would like to apologize and said happy belated birthday on your stream. You and Coin Karma was the first ones 
I have started watching on YouTube. You guys have inspired me to start coin hunting again. I don't have a YouTube page right now, but I will make one pretty soon and hope we can start chatting. Absolutely, Angel. As soon as you get a YouTube channel, let me know. Leave it in one of my comments on one of my videos. I can subscribe to it, and then maybe I can even add it to this Sunday shout out. So I'm sending you foreign, US, some baseball cards, and my first penny box I had got skunked with an uncirculated box. Oh, I hate that. So I send you a roll of 2018 pennies. I hope you like it. So he got a uncirculated box like we've all gotten in our days, and he sent me a whole roll of it. That's really cool. I will take it. I love collecting those. Thanks again, Angel. He also sent me a whole bunch of goodies, and he wants to know if I could send, if possible, a list of varieties and airs. Yeah, I can get you some uh, some resources on that for sure, Angel. Email me at my email address, which will be in the description, and then I can send you some sheets that I use, as well as some resource pages that you can take a look at. But guys, take a look at what he sent me. He sent me a beautiful, almost uncirculated 1956 wheat penny. He also sent me a 1963 uncirculated penny. Ooh, a 1918 sixpence from Australia. You know, I'm not familiar with the sixpence from Australia. I know if they're from the UK, they're not made out of silver, but I don't know about the 1918 year and from Australia. If you guys know if this is partly silver, put it in the comments down below. Looks like he's got us some cool tokens. That's a really cool token. Got a baseball player on the front. We've got three, oh, transit tokens. Yeah, we got some uh, New York City transit tokens, subway, and you name it. That is so cool. Garden City. Yeah. Transit Authority. So cool. I don't have very many of these. I don't even think I have, I might have the Garden City one, but I don't have very many New York Transit Authority tokens. That's really cool. Oh, and check this out. 1861 to 1865, Abraham Lincoln, 16th President of the United States. Gives a little information about him. That is a cool, cool presidential token as well. I'm not familiar with what, what the year was when they made these, but uh, it escapes me. But anyway, it's awesome. I do not have one of those in my collection. We've got some uh, Dominican money here. Beautiful. 20 pesos. We got a Canadian bill here, five dollars, and we've got another Dominican bill here, diez pesos, and a Venezuela bill, veinte bolivares. Very cool, twenty dollars. So cool. I love foreign money. I actually don't have. I don't think any of these denominations or these older bills. So cool. And on top of that, guys, he sent me a whole bunch of coins in here. And I'm just going to pan across them because there's some Canadian pennies and nickels. Canadian quarters. Look at that. Honduras, 1967. 1981. That's a beautiful coin. Man, Swiss coin. 20 pence. Just gonna run through these, save a little time. I'll add into my foreign collection. I can't wait to get in there. A 61 one franc or one franc, however you want to say it. A Caribbean five cents. Man, Venezuela coins. So cool. Thank you very, very much, Angel. These are really cool coins. I cannot wait to get them out categorized and put in my foreign coin collection. This week's episode has been epic already. We've gotten some sweet packages and we still have one more left from Julian Rue on Instagram. A note of gratitude awaits you. Guys, this is from the desk of Julian Rue. He writes, Dear Rob, I continue to be a devoted fan of your videos and I am profoundly impressed by the increase in volume of your bank box battles and coin roll hunts. 
Your expansion of knowledge, hunger to learn, and eager curiosity are something that's not often seen in the, in the numismatists and coin collectors in our industry. You are a rare breed, and I know giftedness when I see it. I must say you have become, by leaps and bounds, the number one coin roll hunting YouTube channel. Well, Julian, those are some very kind words. You know, I just like to share my hunts, as you guys know. I don't know if I'm the number one coin roll hunting YouTube channel. I hope that uh, people appreciate my content. I know that you do, and I know others do as well. I do because I get cool interactions with other members of the community like you, and it just makes me excited to share the excitement that we all have for coins and currency. In the package, I have gifted you some proof coins I have found in coin roll hunts, as well as some miscellaneous goodies in another bag. I hope you enjoy, and please make sure that those watching this video follow my Instagram at JCR Coin and Currency, where they can find out more about my numismatic lifestyle and merchandise for sale. Thank you again and look forward to more content. Sincerely yours, Julian Rue. Guys, I've featured Julian in a few of my videos because he has sent me some really cool packages and he always has a note that says there's some gratitude for me. And if you have an Instagram account, feel free to follow my Instagram as well at Rob Finds Treasure, but also at JCR Corn and Currency. I like Instagram and I like the form because there's a lot of things you can see for pictures of finds people have and for cool giveaways, another way to get some cool coins and currency. And on top of that, you can also interact more personally than you can through YouTube on Instagram. So I'll have his Instagram link down below as well as mine just so you guys can check us both out. If you're not already on Instagram, I recommend that you do that. It's another way to help grow your following and as a cool way to interact with fellow collectors. That being said, I can't go through it all today, but let's just go over the highlights. He sent me three proof pennies, a 2002, which I don't have, a 1972, I think I have one of those, but I'll take a second for sure, and a 93S, which I don't have either. So three proof pennies, and I love proof pennies. It's always fun to get them. I'm super excited about these proof nickels because I think I need all three for my book. An 84S proof, a 95S proof, and a 2000S proof. I think I need all three. I can't wait to plug them in. On top of that, looks like we got a couple of proof Canadian half dollars. Here's a 1970 Canadian half dollar. Beautiful. As well as a 1973. Canadian proof half dollar. So cool. I did not have any of those. And check this out. A largey. 1852 large scent. Extra fine details. It has been cleaned, but I'm not picky when it comes to old U.S. currency or coins. Man, take that all day. Shame that, that, that they thought they could clean it to make it look better. It doesn't work, guys. It just makes it look clean. But... Another piece of U.S. history in my collection. Compliments of Julian Rue. On top of that, and I'll open these up, he sent a boatload of Buffalo nickels. I think I even saw a V-nickel in there. And then a whole bunch of foreign coins and Canadian coins. Some cool old buttons, some U.S. Mint buttons. Man, we'll just do a quick look at what's in this bag. Look at all these goodies in here, guys. Again, to save time, I can't show every coin. Julian knows I'm appreciative of it, but so cool. Love foreign coins, especially, especially from fellow subscribers. Let me get these Buffalo Nickels opened up, and we'll take a quick peek at those. We'll kick off the cool nickels with the V-Nickel that I see here. A 1905 V-Nickel. We'll run through the Buffaloes real quick. A 1928 Philadelphia. A 1936, Philadelphia. A 1930, Philly. A 1936, in great shape, Philadelphia. A 1926, Philadelphia as well. I don't know if I can get a date on camera for you guys. I'll check it later under the loop. Another Buffalo nickel with a D mint mark. We can get a date on that, but not for this video, but it's another Philadelphia Buffalo Nickel. A 1927 Philadelphia. A 1936 Philly. A 
the 1926, I believe, Philadelphia. And the final nickel, 1923, Philadelphia. Wow, Julian. What another epic package. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just overwhelmed with the generosity, like I've said many times, of the coin community. Julian, your information will be down below. Thank you, brother. As will everybody's information be down below if they have a channel or a page or an Instagram account that I can link to. <sighs> wow, epic, epic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Sunday shout out mail call episode. I know I did personally, and I can't wait to use some of these coins that I have for my next live stream. If you did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching and happy hunting.